So neat. Wow. Image, yeah. That it's is great. That sonar are. image is awesome. We see both rims, the, the close and the far rim of the, uh, of the so yeah, this, and the sonar is beautiful. So the rim rises pretty sharply, just be aware. Yep. Come on. So as we come up, so that wall looks pretty fragile, and I would imagine, you know. Did you want a 10 meter move or a 10 meter move? Uh, we can do a 10 for now. Clara wants to know what happens if we were to rip a hole in the edge of the brine pool. I think we would make lots of enemies. The whole Gulf of Mexico will pour into that. It's like <laughs> we would drain the Gulf of Mexico. We would drain the brine pool, I think, for sure. So we're not going to do that. If Chuck Fisher is listening, Chuck was adamant about you can't drain the brine pool. <laughs> I'm sure Eric feels the same way. Like some, oh, there's some sort some of melt. Oh, look Auto at this crab. Yeah, look at that one. Oh, wow. You getting some of those is screenshots? A dead crab? Cool. It is a dead crab. See, there we go. And there's an amphipod, right? There was an amphipod right under the, the there Check you see up. that amphipod down there on the right, Brennan? Oh, yeah. Look at that. So there's a dead amphipod. That's what we mean by the, the jacuzzi of despair. These types of bigger, <laughs> larger right, organisms, these larger organisms really don't like to be in this fluid. Or oh, maybe they just come that. here to die. That's awesome. The pickled, the there's a pickled, pickled crab. Go for it. Yeah, and so you see that whitish wow. material. That's definitely looks. Oh, that even maybe that, that actually oh. looks like halo. Those are cubes, aren't they? The minerals on the on the the white. Oh. Yeah, so looks that, like it. Yeah, so that's Precipitate. probably the halite probably crystals? halite crystals. Yeah, that was a good ice guy. <laughs> that's he, huge. He crawled in and he didn't crawl out. Maybe they just come here to die. This is they're they're like preserved. An orphan burial ground. This, they're something? preserved in perpetuity. They've basically been embalmed here, right? Yeah. So. It looks like it's doing well. So I'm curious about the formation of the brine pool. Um, when it initially formed, does it form uh, from the bottom up and get deeper and deeper by the deposition of minerals and accumulation yeah, of mussels? And mud and yeah, I think you know. In this case, I think the mussels have done actually. Uh, they've done a really a stand-up job at keeping the walls intact. No, so I, I think you know initially probably what happens is fluid starts to erupt from the seafloor through a fissure or some sort of you know, um, just basically a, 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 the fluid kind of erupts out of the seafloor. And as that fluid is being delivered and may, may pool up there in the seafloor, then you get com biological communities that start taking advantage of that. Oh, there's a cascade. Oh, look at it. Look at it spilling out. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Nice. Definitely check that out. Beautiful, wow. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. It looks like a waterfall. So this is the outflow. So if we have time, we'll probably trace where these brines are pooling up down, downhill. Oh, uh, neat. But look at that. Wow, that's that cool. is amazing. That is wild. That's the overflow. That is a, that is a, 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 dra a salt drainage there. Brine overflow. Drainage. That is beautiful. Wow. Very cool. Good. So we'll, we'll be uh, coming back with the laser spec in our wand just to look at how. Checking it out. Yeah. Are you going to be able to collect any sediment or any of the we, minerals? Uh, we might throw some, some mineral things, mineral into the bio box, um, but we did not put on the sediment course. Nav, can we drop a target here uh, as the cascade? Okay, the outflow. Yeah, I have it. Great, thanks. I have it as brine overflow. Perfect. Or brine outflow. outflow. All right, brine, go for a quick wait. We Overflow's wait fine. Anymore. Yeah. This, we got to come up with a, a cool name for yeah, this, this feature wow. here. This is so cool. It's got to go along with, uh, you know, the jacuzzi of despair. Okay, okay I have yeah. you there. The hot tub of hope. The hot tub of hope. Yes, I have one. Yeah, that's the jacuzzi I, It's jet. called brine that's overflow. That's where you get the uh, the jacuzzi jets mas massage. There you go. The this massage. Is the, this, this is the massage. Uh, I have it. Room. Do you I was yep. I was wondering the same oh, thing. Oh look, there's okay. another pickled amphipod under that crab. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, Brian. Two of them. Oh yeah, he's been in there a while. The sediment on oh, top. Oh yeah. The amphipod next to him. Yeah. Yeah. I think the crab went in and said, "Ooh, look, dead amphipod. I'll go have a snack." <laughs> and then he. <laughs> Based on that Joined mineral deposition, how long do you think that crab might have been there to get that forming on top? Wow. The shell is probably right at that surface, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's anybody's guess. I mean, right, I think let's keep going think, around. You guys good? Yep. I think there's, you know, I'm I'm pretty confident in saying that there is very little, nice, Brian. I, I, zero Segment oxygen there. in this. Do you guys see the layering in that See, brine pool? Yeah. But I think that yeah, that looks coming cool. at you. Those are waves. It looks like, like a wave. Do you think those are set? ripples moving? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. So they are, you're right. material coming at you. I suppose at the very end, the very last thing we could do is do a splashdown and try to 
drive her down. Into this? At the very end. I'm Not, interested. Yeah, I know. We'll, do, we'll make sure it's on your watch. <laughs>